Hey everyone, Shabim here and welcome back to some more Fire Pro Wrestling World. This time we're going to do another singles match. We're going to do Okada versus Omega and just see how it goes. We're still testing things out and I'm very impressed so far with this game. It's simple but effective and let's see how we get on with two of the best wrestlers in the world. Okada versus Omega. Right, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I've downloaded a lot more uh, created wrestlers now on this game. I now have the whole Lucha Underground roster, the whole uh, New Japan roster, the whole WWE roster. It's just so simple on Steam just to click one button and you've got the entire roster. The only difficult thing is, is the game's not incredibly user friendly. And you have to, once you create the wrestler, you have to put them all into the correct stables and so forth. So it's, it's a little bit annoying, but it does the trick. It is good. It's, it's a good way to sort the wrestlers, though, I suppose, if you look at it that way. I mean, putting them all in the list uh, and sorting them all out is actually a really good way of doing it, I suppose. Because now I can scan through, and I've got WWE, I've got New Japan, I've got Lucha Underground. I can sort through each roster, and I can narrow down the person that I do want. So it is it's beneficial in the long run. It's just a bit of a pain to start off with. But here we go. Okada versus Omega. Of course, uh, the six-star match these two put on a few years ago at Wrestle Kingdom was absolutely incredible. And we're hoping to get the same sort of thing here. Nice. Akada freeing himself from that suplex and a nice forearm to the back of the head before dropping Omega with a neckbreaker. So I'm not 100% sure how the ratings work on this game and uh, if they're really balanced that well or you just literally... Oh, nice. Tornado DDT there by Okada. Yes, yeah, so I'm not quite sure how it works because I was thinking of doing maybe some sort of large tournament, as I've said before. Uh, maybe some sort of group stage tournament or league style tournament, a bit like the G1 Climax, but on a much bigger scale, utilizing some of the best wrestlers from past and present. That was my sort of idea, um, which I really like the idea of, actually. Obviously, utilizing these guys as well as maybe Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, um, Shinsuke Nakamura. Bret Hart, Ric Flair, people like that. I think it'd be a really interesting little tournament to do. Um, or even just doing like a tag team tournament we mentioned about the other day as well. Just because of how the game works and how um, 2K doesn't work. It might be a useful thing to do a tag team tournament in this game and utilize it to its best. A nice Hurricanrana there by Kenny Omega on Okada. Omega springs back and gets, wow, clothesline that. These boots by Okada. Okada now big DDT on Omega as well. Now Okada heading up to the top and dropping an elbow. But no, Omega avoids it. Omega drags Okada away from the ropes, drops his knee into the spine. And, oh, dragon suplex by Omega on Okada. There's the pin. One... Only a one count, wow. Still a lot more to go here if Omega wants to get the victory over Okada. Big elbow and... Wow, this is Jay White. Jay White interfering in this match. That is Jay White, isn't it? That's the, it's the first time I've had an interference of someone I've known. Of course, Jay White is the new leader of Bullet Club. Omega being the old leader. I'm not quite sure who White is going after. It looks like Okada, to be honest with you. Jay White, it actually looks pretty good, this Jay White, doesn't it? It looks very um, Street Fighter-ish. Jay White's getting absolutely no offense on Akada at all, though Akada's fighting him away over and over and over again. Jay White now does get a strong right hand. But Akada taking Omega up into a tombstone power driver. Now, this has turned into a two-on-one match now. Akada scoop slamming Jay White. So does it pick from the roster? Or is this just luck? I mean, because I've downloaded a lot of people, will this just down? Will this interfere from the pool that I've run from, if that makes sense? So I've done a match between New Japan and New Japan. Does that take into account? You get what I mean? If I do a match between New Japan and New Japan, does that mean that the interference will be from New Japan? Or will it literally be random and we just got lucky to have someone who makes part sense, I suppose, if you look at it that way? Omega sending Okada into the corner, but Okada takes Omega up into an air raid slam. Smashing him down into the ground. 
Omega taking a card up into a sit-out powerbomb, but too close to the ropes. And Omega once again sits out powerbomb. This time he's further away from the ropes. One, two. 2.9 and a kick out. What, what? I don't even know what I said. What was that? What just came up on the screen? I don't know what just came up on the screen. That was absolutely crazy. Is this a card of like hulking up? It looks like a card is really going to the next level. Now locks in this submission here on Omega. Omega able to break free. Oh, nice. Omega hooking that leg. Omega sends a carder. Omega now a cut up into a tombstone power driver. Ah, it's a 2.9. Omega bringing a card back up once again. Horika Ran. This has been a really good get, a really good match actually. I'm enjoying this one. Nice moonsault by Omega, but too close to the ropes. Again, a Horika Ran by Omega, who's taking more and more control. Never. That's pretty cool. It's like a, a running, springing sort of moonsault. That one. A card and now Tombstone Power Drive on Omega. You see a card are really uh, struggling here. Really knackered. Payday kick there by Omega. Both guys down on the ground. Omega with a pin now, one, two, and a three, and eventually the straw that breaks the camel's back is that big kick by Omega. He looks absolutely knackered. But that was a good match, I enjoyed that, and I feel like if we did some sort of massive tournament, this would be quite fun to do. So, yeah, what are we going to do? That's the big question still. So, overhead kick with the hooked leg pinfall gets uh, Omega the victory. It was an 88 match evaluation, which is, I think, our highest so far, which does not surprise me with Okada versus Omega, does it really? But I really enjoyed this match. It was fun. It really was fun, and uh, I'm hoping we can see some more action like this moving forward. So, yeah, I think it's about time we do make our choice then. So I think this weekend we'll start looking at something. So do you want to see a large scale... Let's have a quick look, right? We're here now at the moment, right? Let's have a quick look. Let me just do that. Okay, right. So let's return to the menu. We can do league, uh, normal match. So we can do, here we go, look all the way up. So we can do a tag team or we can do a single. We can do four brackets with, say, and the top three from each go through into a knockout stage. And we can have... 16 entrants. Okay, and that's bracket A. There you go. Six brackets of 16 entrants. We can have a massive, massive tournament. That's going to be absolutely huge. So yeah, let me know if that's the sort of thing you want to see, or maybe a tag team as well. Or maybe you just want to see us continue on with these random matches and just enjoy ourselves as we go on. It's, it's up to what you want to see, I suppose. Or well, we've got tournament. We've got like normal knockout style tournaments. Uh, entry 32 is the most you can have. We could do this sort of thing instead. This could be a sort of tag team tournament. Yeah, let me know what you want to see. I'm sort of dabbling between maybe this is a tag team tournament or we can do a singles massive league style tournament utilizing some of the best wrestlers in history. So let me know what you want to see and we'll either start things off this weekend or middle of next week depending on uh, the time it takes me to get everything set up. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon for our next dabble in Fire Pro Wrestling World. Bye. Thank you.